We want to bring you that story about Fort Negley and honoring its builders. News Channel 5's Kyle Haran reports. Um, a lot of what we understand Nashville to be today um, is rooted, deeply rooted in these contraband camps. Among the rocks, the grasses, the natural gardens of Fort Negley. This, this stone fort would have been one of the most impressive in the South. It's the memories of others that have their biggest impact on Dr. Lee Williams. This place is important because it's, it's a spot where you can reach out and touch it. It's, it's tangible history. It's history that's been lifted out of the textbook, so to speak. An assistant professor of history at TSU. A sharpshooter would have placed his rifle. It's hard for Williams not to see sites like this as a place for learning. One of the first real places where African Americans experienced freedom, experienced liberty, it was um, oftentimes a different, difficult transition. Its impact not lost on him. There have been powder rooms and so forth. And a renewed excitement for something he's found on social media. Hamilton White. When the modern world. Isaac Washington. Meets American history. Uh, Harrison Berry. Edmund Raines. Dave Anderson. These are all the names of African Americans who likely paved the way for modern Nashville. When you read these names aloud, you speak life into them again. This is a copy from the original ledger held in the state archives. He worked for two months for a total of $14. Each name, a slave or a free person forced into labor. And it's probably one of the few times in the last 155 some odd years that somebody has said these names out loud. Shoring up Union held Nashville from Confederate attack, but causing such harm to the people on whose backs lay all the work. Soldiers coming into churches um, and, and compelling people to come here at the point of a bayonet. This fort would eventually represent freedom. Aaron Hernandez. But it was built. Alex Berry. On the backs of these slaves. Kyle Haran, News Channel 5. Staff at Fort Negley Park told us they are tweeting the names in honor of the 155th year of the fort's completion. They decided it was appropriate to honor the workers rather than the leaders from that time.